Yes, I love the words of Psalms 95 verse 6 which says, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. And today we're just celebrating God and just honoring Him on this day, on this show, on Worship Sunday. We just give God all the glory and honor. We worship Him just by our attitudes of the heart and by the way we present ourselves to Him. Him. Indeed, welcome back to JC Sako Show. My name is Miriam Masaba. Nakule Kwa Mix is DJ Nix, the spin doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Leo ana maneno. Sasa ina kuintroduce na una maneno ya kusema. Ah, ah, unajua sasa hii bado niko kwa kwa mood ya worship. You know, worship doesn't mean at calmness but still yeah, niku absorb. Absorb. Yes, yes, yes. Indeed, indeed. Thank you so much DJ Nix. And today it's that time, it's that time where we do it exclusively. I know you've seen him on Facebook. By the way, let me just tell you something mm. guys. I saw her on Facebook. There's a friend of mine who shared a video of her singing and she was like, "Who is this? Who is <laughs> ni nani?" And the comments that were there, there were very many comments. They're like the guys who really wanted to find out who she is. And I was like, that is Edith Karimo. Yes, yeah. and we have her in studio. <laughs> and you're so blessed to have her. Edith Karimo is such an honor to have you around. It's such a privilege mm. to be here. Mm. Mm. Yes, now take this opportunity, Camera mm -hmm. Tell us more about yourself. Tell us more about you so that guys and friends of JC Sako get to know you more. Hi friends of JC Sako, mm -hmm. my name is Edith Wairimo. I am a born again Christian, I love Jesus so much, I'm a music uh, minister. Um, there's a lot of videos that, uh, that, that, are, that are going around and are PCA Motoine, but I'm also an individual artist. Um, yeah, I have, I have my own mm. songs on my YouTube channel, Lady mm. Tuerimo. Mm. And so I'm just a, I'm just a minister. Um, and, I'm, and I'm so honored to be the vessel that God chose to use and you're during right, this season. And you're serving PCA, right? Yes, I do. Okay, yes. amazing, amazing. Let me just let, let me just ask you: Is singing something you wanted to do, or mm -hmm. when did you begin it? Yes, in, take us through that journey. My mother tells me that uh, <laughs> the first words I ever said were the were the lyrics to a song, as in like literally, mm -hmm. they were the lyrics to a song. <laughs> <laughs> like you know this song yeah. ingia, ingia, yeah. wa kondo. so my first word was ingia wow wow yes <laughs> it's such a hard word wow i know i know when i'm a child you know say my ingia yes so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so i think i said something to, uh, a word uh, of food food what is spreading food <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> Me, I guess. Mitauliza. Mitauliza. <laughs> anyway, go on, go on. I have been ministering since then, mm -hmm. um, and there, there are times, my younger years, I didn't know that I was doing ministry. Mm -hmm. I just used to know that I love singing. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout my primary school, everyone used to call me songbird. Throughout high school, I was a celebrity for my voice. Um, when I went to campus, I joined praise and worship. And uh, the unfortunate thing that happened is that sometimes I used to worship and then my friends in the mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. to kiwa kwa room, wanani uliza, when do worship kesho? So I was like, no. So wananiambia, misi kuji service, na kuja wow. So I, I discovered <laughs> that uh, there was something uh, unusual going on. Mm -hmm. I hated it because mm -hmm. I don't like people doing things because, just because I'm there. Mm -hmm. So I stepped out of praise and worship. I actually stepped out. Mm. Um, I really, really fear a position which, which puts me in a position where I take the glory. Mm. Now, go panga exactly. sana 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 kuchukua glory of God. Kwa sababu, there's this king, he's called King Agrippa. Mm. In the book of Acts, mm. alipreziwa akachukua, no, Herodias, mm. Mm. akachukua glory, mm. alafu some worms. Yes, God akam strike mm. na worms akakufa. So, muku angana the fear of God sana. So, I stepped out. So, throughout my campus, people did not know that I sing. Mm. I actually joined the creative ministry. I became a director there. Mm. And um, so, so after, after campus is when now I resumed ministry, but I didn't exactly resume music ministry. I, I started using the preaching ministry because God told me, I want you to go, I want to take you through a journey where I teach you my word. 
because if you only speak uh, if you only uh, kama kama voice ndio ina determining kama mtu ni worshipper mm. Lucifer bado ange kwa heaven yeah, so kwa gifted by the way cuz hakuna mtu gifted you know hakuna yeah. roho gifted mm. kama you know mm. but voice si yenye ina determine the mm. talented the talentedness mm. si yenye ina determine how much you can worship mm. it is the word behind the talent so i went through a long season of god teaching me his word mm. and teaching me his statutes mm-hmm. uh, david says that teach me teach me to number my days that i may have the fear of god that i may you know that i may not mm. sin against you mm. so uh, it's it's been a journey of 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 learning the word of god so that i can be able to minister and that's where some ministers get it wrong mm. about the point where you stepped out of worship mm. that's where most of the ministers get it wrong especially when it comes to leading worship in church mm. guys focus so much on their voice on themselves mm-hmm. am i doing the right thing you know and that's where we get it wrong i don't know why what shida ina kuanga nini hapo where is the dealing there at that point where the the, the worshipers mm. are like no what wacha tu ni mimi i should draw the attention to myself instead of drawing the attention to god i don't know where it gets wrong at that point well the first um someone that we see Jesus giving the woman of Samaria mm. in the book of John chapter 4 from verse 23 he says mm. uh when when the woman uh, begins to speak about the place of worship he mm. says that you Jews say that we should worship in Jerusalem we believe we should worship on the on the mountain of our father Jacob mm. so what say ye mm. but he told them that it's not it the place of worship is not a place it is you know eden is not a place eden is the presence of god mm. so akamwambia though the, a time has come where the true worshipers of god must worship him in truth and in spirit mm. so spirit ni small s si holy spirit kwa hivyo it means that for you to be able to worship number one, you must worship in truth and there is no truth outside of the word of god so it means that for you to worship it means you need to do so in the fear of god in mm. line with the word of god mm-hmm. and then you also need to do it in in spirit mm. spirit is small s Mm. meaning that it is the it is it is the living being in you you are not what we see mm. you are the eternal one that was placed within mm. you know this vessel mm. so i think what happens so that people forget people see the carnality people begin to worship in carnality they don't worship in spirit they worship in flesh mm. and when you do that um the desires of the flesh the flesh always desires to glorify itself It's, it's always mm. me myself yeah. and i mm. and all that mm. and we've all gotten there at some point mm. sometimes nisha lead worship niko like wah uliskia zile kinyele hit we have been there some <laughs> <laughs> See, we've all been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you have rehearsed, there. but actually when you get to the pulpit, to the altar, it becomes even on another level. Mm. Hey, you see kufanya kwa rehearsal. Sai nime nime hack it when I'm at the altar. <laughs> Unasikia ni kama unayasema you guys, but then you come practice. <laughs> <laughs> there is that temptation eh yeah, there is also that in me I'm going to attempt exactly. yeah 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 so anyway Edith mm. at what point did you finally realize that this is not just a gift this is a calling mm. now let me pursue this calling I decided to do music professionally in 2018 mm-hmm. and uh, the first thing that happened is I was signed by a label So my first song Overcome um was was done under a label it was done under Value Play mm. and I walked the journey with Value Play for some time and I really really appreciate because I learned a lot of things it was it was a beautiful journey mm. but uh when when it did not work out because mm. one of the things that happened when I was in the label mm. some of the feedback that I got for that song is too complicated uh-huh. it's too <laughs> we don't understand as in like what where him but Jesus is good <laughs> you know so i'm i'm speaking about the deeper things of the kingdom mm. um so i realized kumbe the thing that god has deposited within me is for kingdom people mm. is is if you are in the world it's mm. hard for you to understand the kind mm. of ministry that i am in mm. so after a very long journey mm. like i told you god took me underground for me to start learning the word of god because mm. he told me outside of my word the ministry is just music it's just another songs just like samido mm. no offense to him mm. uh, but uh, outside of the word of god it's just another worldly song mm. because any action that is outside of faith mm. is 
an act of the flesh. Mm -hmm. But when you incorporate faith, it now becomes an act of the spirit and it bears the fruit of the spirit. So you just had, I just had to go through a journey mm -hmm. where I had to learn the word of God, get revelations from the word of God. And mm -hmm. that is when now I started getting revelations about the ministry that has been hidden within my spirit. Mm -hmm. And I started realizing that the things I'm, I'm meant to do is not you know, it's not perform. Mm -hmm. It is actually lift the name of Jesus, and then Jesus will draw people to Himself. Mm, wow! Mm. And, yeah. and she can preach, and she's very deep. Yeah. <laughs> she cannot yeah. only sing, but she can preach, and she's truly deep. And I really love. You know, she has shared. I mean, Maliza to inspiration by BFT. You, 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 okay. you are in John chapter four. <laughs> yeah, Maliza, <laughs> she's killed it. <laughs> yeah, and actually, really? kuna, kuna, kuna mm. e, e notion, yeah. young people. Uh, during worship, mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they fear to soak themselves in the presence of God. They all want to look just, they, they are waiting. All, maybe one angle, they are two times, you are praised because when you are praised, I will just move like this and this. But they don't uh, actually know mm -hmm. uh, the, how to do the act of worship during the worship time in church. Mm -hmm. What would you tell those people who fear to soak in the presence of God? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, mm. this is the thing. Mm. I don't have a, I had I don't have anything against people mm. who actually fear. Mm. But fear is a weapon of the enemy. Mm. If the devil wants to stop you from doing something, the first thing he's going to plant in you is fear. Mm. So you need to realize apart from the fear of God, all mm. other fears are ungodly. Mm. But what my encouragement would be in the book of Acts chapter 2. Mm. We see the apostles and the Bible says that they locked themselves in a room mm. and while they were worshiping God, then there was a move of the spirit yes. and they were all filled with the holy ghost mm. so in apart from you know physically closing doors sometimes in your mind you have to close those doors mm. you know you have to be you have to close yourself in a room with just you and your you and and god mm. and allow the spirit of god to move mm. so sometimes the best way i always tell people mm. start with closing your eyes mm. Mm. Because when you do not, when you close your eyes, you stop seeing with, with the eyes of your flesh. And somehow it creates an opportunity for the eyes of your spirit to now become awake. Mm -hmm. wow. So what I say is that close the room, close that room. Because even when you close the room, Jesus will still, Jesus is spirit right mm -hmm. now. He's been glorified. Mm -hmm. So it means that even when the rooms are closed, you will find him in the middle of the room. But as long as the room is open, you will, you will keep being diverted by people. Mm. who are outside mm. yeah okay okay you have a new song I do yes I want you to perform that song and mm. we'll be back you tell us more about this song and as we continue with the discussion okay. yes DJ Nix yes 20 <coughs> 